it's almost undescribable to have you know put so much you know time and effort into making stuff so perfect and so beautiful and stuff and then you get to go hand it to the driver and have him just go yeah that's cool yeah that is cool i've been into big boat racing for probably going on you know 20 years now and he's been painting even longer combining his two loves eric petring is the man behind central coast airbrush and many a hydro paint job some of them are very detailed and a lot of taping a lot of masking a lot of shading a lot of rendering and stuff so it kind of depends on the complexity of design and how long it takes. He says a hydro helmet can take up to 25 hours of work while an entire boat could take over 100 hours of painting. Both the holes that crashed last year and stuff were my paint jobs. And sometimes he has to paint a hydro more than once. Some of them have up to 20 pounds of paint coats alone. He works with the drivers in their teams to make sure what he's painting is exactly what they want. It's pretty cool and interesting some of the stuff that people come up with and then I got to figure out how to put it in paint what they're in in their head and run with it and make it look good. Petring says he hopes to see the sport continue to thrive and carry on to the next generation of drivers and maybe even painters. There's a lot of us that put a lot of effort into making sure that it doesn't die, that it's going to continue to keep going, that we'll be, you know, in our retirement centers and our wheelchairs bragging to the grandkids about what we did back in 2014, you know, kind of cool. In Kennewick, Don Grenice, NBC Right Now.